Hey everyone, it's Jojo and welcome to part 2 of my Random Booster Volume 6 videos. So yesterday I just unboxed the full set of Random Booster Volume 6 and didn't go too much detail into them and so this video I will be talking about each Beyblade and all their different parts and do some test battles toward the end. Alright, so let's just get right into it. The prize Beyblade of Random Booster Volume 6 is Tornado Wyvern and it has some pretty cool parts. Let's start off with the layer. So we have Tornado Wyvern, really cool purple color, keeping its traditional colors. You can see the Wyvern head right there. And here's a side view. And uh, we'll talk about the teeth in a little bit, but the god ability or the gimmick of this layer is that it has this free spinning uh, ring, which is pretty awesome. So the purpose of this is to deflect attacks from other Beyblades. It'll transfer the attack downward or just around it so it won't have a really huge impact on it. So that's a pretty neat gimmick. We'll have to see how it performs in battle, but um, battling this against Drain Fafnir, I find that Drain Fafnir has a hard time kind of um, stealing spin from this Beyblade because it just moves out of the way pretty much. Alright, so here's the bottom view. Here are the teeth. It has four teeth. Unfortunately, they aren't too great. They're just a little bit, maybe just average or a little, maybe a little bit under. But that's still a little disappointment because Wyvern is such a cool looking Beyblade. But hopefully with this gimmick, um, it, it'll be a little bit more burst resistant. So again, we'll just have to find out during the battle. So for the frame and the disc, it has Glaive and Four. So let's take a look at Four. I'm not really sure how to feel about these new discs and frames. I guess I haven't really um, messed around with them too much. But it does add a little bit of more weight and maybe a little bit more protection on the bottom. And here's Glaive. I actually like the shape of Glaive a lot better than most of the frames because it seems a little bit more... Um, symmetrical and more dynamic or aerodynamic just the way this part is and another cool looking part we have we have atomic and the gimmick of this it's almost like orbit so it has a free spinning ball here it also has a free spinning outer ring here which is pretty cool so Basically pretty much works the same as Orbit, but it is a little bit bigger. The ball is a little bit bigger. And for this gimmick right here with the free spinning ring, I think when the Beyblade starts to tilt, it'll help um, stabilize it more so it's not just scraping so much and moving around in a circle. But, you know, gimmicks don't always work. So again, we'll have to see during the uh, test battles. And another one unfortunate thing about this is I do have a little flat spot right there. I don't know if you could see it. It looked like it was like cracked or cut improperly out of the mold. So, uh, but the other two atomic drivers from those two Beyblades actually look a little bit better. It's just this one has a really flat spot. All right, and just to compare atomic to orbit, you could see a little bit bigger. So more surface area, and so not as much stamina as Orbit, but still pretty neat. Alright, and that was Tornado Wyvern. Let's move on to Fang, the, the two Fang Fenrirs. So Fang Fenrir, Polish Orbit, again, this one has a better, like that part where it was cut, it's not as flat, so it looks a lot better than um, that one. And I hope a lot of people didn't get um, an Orbit that was like that. Uh, so yeah, Fang Fenrir. I was really excited about this Beyblade because it just looks really awesome looking. Really nice swirly designs. This is an attack type layer, but it doesn't have really good teeth. It has three, but yeah, it doesn't really click as hard as most attack types. So unfortunately, it would not really be good for attack, but I could kind of see it being used as a tornado staller just the way it's shaped. So if you want to stall out some Beyblades, I, this might be a pretty good layer. And then we have Polish. Polish was kind of like the pre-frame 
and disc uh, parts because it has like a plastic part and a uh, metal part. Unfortunately for these types of discs, they are mostly plastic and so they are kind of lighter. And of course we got Atomic again. And I found that when kind of spinning this Beyblade, it does have a little bit of a life after death effect when it's tilted all the way because polish is so smooth around it kind of just keeps rolling which is pretty neat and the next fan fan rear really love this color as well love the color red pretty much the same teeth and all but just a different color and so this one comes with six glaive so six we got six points all around three on top three on bottom and yeah that's pretty much it same uh, same uh, frame as Wild Wyvern and for the driver we have liner so liner has this really cool wheel here and um, it actually spins better than my original one or the one that came with Inferno Ifrit Magnum liner it spins better it's looser but still not a very good driver I feel like it's not very stable now let's move on to Exceed Evil Eye, both of them. So Exceed Evil Eye Gravity Orbit, or no, Gravity Atomic. So this one, probably one of the most interesting looking, most interestingly designed uh, layer. It's got these weird bars on all around it, and um, it's advertised as a defense type. You can see that Evil Eye is like a cobra. You can see the snake right there. It's a bottom view. And very interestingly, this is the only one that isn't transparent like the other ones. Like this is a full solid color. So we got Gravity, of course, Gravity, a really good disc, and another Atomic. And this one is a lot smoother than the other two. So there's a bit of a thing sticking out there, but you could always shave that down with like a nail filer or something. All right, and then we have the ye yellow Evil Eye, Exceed Evil Eye. This comes with two glaive, a lot of glaive in this set. And we have weights, basically a metal ball for stamina. All right, and let's move on to Inferno Ifrit. Really cool color. Pretty much the opposite color of its original color. So it's like this ice blue. Here's a teeth. It's got pretty good teeth. This is an attack type uh, layer. And it also comes with two and Vortex, really nice looking Vortex. Nice triangular shape. I think um, Vortex, because of the triangular shape of uh, Inferno Ifrit and Vortex, I think they look really nice together. And we have Hold, I want to talk about this. So, in my unboxing video, I, met, I pointed out this that this is really like droopy. It droops down very, very low and very loose. And actually a good, a good mold of Hold is supposed to do that because it's very loose and so it'll be um, it'll spin a lot better like how it's supposed to and um, It'll be more aggressive. I actually found this a lot more aggressive than my original hold as you can see How far that droops down compared to this? I mean that spins pretty well, but This is definitely looser so Very excited to have a good mold of hold and we have psychic phantom Probably one of the worst layers in this uh, collection. Uh, so yeah, it has really bad teeth. I don't really have like a really good use for it. And this one comes with six cross and spiral, which is like pairing spiral with um, psychic phantom will pretty much insta burst psychic phantom because it cannot take a lot of hits and last but not least we have beast behemoth a really cool attack type layer that i think a lot of people kind of overlook it and yeah, it's pretty cool i mean it doesn't have huge gaps like you know victory valkyrie and so it's not going to have a huge like a smash attack or whatever but it's it's still pretty good for attack if you want that nice barrage of attacks and the teeth on this are pretty amazing. The colors of the stickers kind of uh, don't really match it. I kind of wish it was red like the eyes, but it's more of a like a pink color, which is eh, okay. But the discs, the disc and the frame really do match the green here. So it comes with four cross. 
and a weight again. Alright, so that's pretty much it for all of the Beyblades. Let's just move on to some test battles. So these test battles will be mainly focused around Tornado Wyvern, so I'll be putting Tornado Wyvern against all the other Beyblades in Random Booster Volume 6. Alright, so that's pretty much it for all the test battles and this review. Tornado Wyvern did a pretty good job battling against all of these Beyblades. The only Beyblade it lost against was Fang Fenrir Polish Atomic. And like I said, I think it's because of the, um, the polish really helped it kept spinning around toward the end. So yeah, pretty good uh, Beyblade, Tornado Wyvern. What do you guys think about Random Booster Volume 6? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to favorite and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time with more Beyblade Burst. See you soon.